guys welcome back to my channel so today's super exciting video i am going to review a violin from amazon yay i was actually recently contacted by the uh, lady from the company i think it's called the e-star and they sent me this violin i am super 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 excited before i start don't forget to subscribe all right so this is the violin so you guys i've received this uh, about a week ago so i had some times you know to play on it to test it and uh let's just start from the very very beginning i'm gonna show you i took some footage when i was trying to unbox this violin so let's just take a look okay guys so very quickly um i just took the box from inside the box so i just want to show you it was very nicely you know packed in this big kind of an outer box and this is what you're gonna see um you know inside okay so violin is packed you know in the typical kind of case let's take the plastic off here so this is what you see inside there's a lot of accessories <laughs> that will come with this violin and i can see right away there's two bows um there is a shoulder rest and there's even a set of strings and a tuner so um as you probably notice violin is not set up um the bridge is hidden right here so um this is something expected i think every time you buy the violin online um like this it just doesn't come with the bridge you know all set up because it just can break during the transit okay so this is the violin up close looks very beautiful actually it seems like it's a very um very nicely made i like the chain rest my first impression so far is actually pretty good here's the scroll you know sometimes the violin can look pretty rough you know when you um when they are fairly inexpensive but this one actually i'm quite quite uh, pleased so let me see if i can um set up the bridge okay so i set the bridge kind of very quickly i'll have to correct a little bit but um it's obviously out of tune i didn't tune it yet i'm gonna go ahead and do this um and then probably i'm gonna just wait a day or two for the strings to kind of set um before you know we can completely test it because obviously the new strings just just needs a little bit more um you know just kind of stretch and set down uh, settle down a little bit so um yeah now it looks more like a violin right <laughs> Okay, so very quickly, let's look at some accessories that the violin comes with. So this is uh, this is the rosin. So this is you know kind of a typical you know cake of rosin. So here's the shoulder rest. This violin also comes with the tuner. So for those of you who are starting on the violin, this might be quite helpful to have some kind of a tuner. So there we go. And it comes with uh, an additional string set and this it says um master series violin strings i'm not familiar with um these strings but um i assume that's probably something that it's on this violin already so um yeah you always have something extra in here so that's a bonus okay so let me undo the bows now i don't know what is the wood i'll have to find out let me just tie it up a little bit so bow obviously needs a lot of rosin there's just no rosin on the bow at all i can tell all right so this is the first bow and i assume the second one is the same okay guys so this is pretty much what came um with this violin outfit so you have a violin you have two bows extra strings rosin shoulder rest and a tuner so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna tune it up and um you know kind of let the string stretch for a day or two and then we're gonna do a thorough review all right so i have been using this violin for a few days i just wanted really test it out before you know i come here and i do this video for you guys uh strings stretched after about 24 hours and uh, i was able to record a couple of uh, sound samples which i'm gonna include later but first i just want to quickly talk about this violin so 
what i love about this violin first of all is the price the price is about a hundred dollars and by the way all the links will be in the description box if you want to buy this exact violin everything is in the description box for a hundred dollars in my opinion seeing you know kids coming to me with you know before they even ask me their parents just purchase a random violence and for more for more than a hundred dollars and they come with those horrible horrible instruments that is just un they are just unplayable all right so this being relatively inexpensive is a beautiful instrument if you are a beginner violinist violinist or um you know early kind of intermediate this is instrument that is just gonna be perfect for you all right you get so many things that came with this violin so you get your violin of course you're getting your shoulder rest and by the way i this shoulder rest reminds me so much of um viva la musica the very expensive shoulder rest and this is you know very comfortable i've been using this with this particular violin it's fully adjustable so you can you know turn those knobs and you can push it in push it out so you can most likely use it for three-quarter violence as well so you're getting a very comfortable shoulder rest getting a rosin and obviously i use this rosin because again i wanted to test it so you see the rosin is not shiny anymore <laughs> it's more kind of matte because i use this on the bow so i wanted to test the rosin this rosin is really good sometimes the rosins that comes with the you know with this whole violin outfits can be quite crappy this one is a very good quality rosin you also getting additional set of strings and these strings are exactly the same that are actually fitted on this violin so you're getting this and you're getting the tuner i did not open the tuner because obviously i don't need it but um hopefully you have a teacher so teacher can help you out you know uh help you out with the tuning at first and obviously <laughs> you're getting two bows those are two two bows and i did a little bit of the research because i wasn't sure what the bows are made exactly of and those are brazilia wood i think it says on the website and you know what i noticed once i start playing at them uh, the bow that has a little darker finish this one is uh, a little bit heavier than the one that has slightly lighter finish when you can see they are both slightly have a slightly different color um i don't know if this was intentionally done or is it just accidentally i do prefer a heavier bow but if you're a beginner you would rather should use a lighter bow so the lighter bow i put it on my um kitchen scale this one is 58 grams you guys 58 grams is the ideal weight for the bow this is how usually how much the professional bows would um you know weight like if you go to 56 7 grams it's a little bit on the light side 58 59 is like ideal weight so this is the weight of this bow and the heavier bow this is actually whopping 69 grams so this is like 10 grams more but to be honest with you i cannot feel you know when i play i cannot tell that this is 69 grams i know it's heavier than the other one but I do prefer it, you know, my bow, Sartori bow that I use on my uh, daily, you know, um, as my daily bow is actually 63 grams. So it's considered already a heavy bow. I don't really feel those additional couple of grams on this one. I think the weight is just distributed very equally. So, you know, I know I'm getting to the details here, but you getting two nevertheless so you can pick which one you like better and like i said if you're a beginner probably going with a lighter bow is a better choice and to be honest with you another thing that i wanted to point on you are getting a real horse hair you know mongolian horse hair those are the best you can have on your on your bow so you're getting in here and the bow quality is amazing you guys for the price uh, like I mentioned before, lots of my students in the past came with the bows that came with the violin. They were unplayable. I literally had to tell parents, could you please order a separate bow? So just the fact that you're getting not one, but two bows, you know, with this particular set, and they are very good quality, it's it's a win-win, okay? So 
this is really good I, I'm, I'm being always very fussy about the bow so this is really really good okay so the violin itself also it's truly truly important is made of wood okay I've seen the vi violin made of kind of a, kind of a substitute materials um, and I couldn't even tune those violins okay this violin is beautiful you guys I love one piece back it's just awesome look at the front it's beautiful I love the varnish the finish all the edges everything is cut so beautifully also the chin rest is super super comfortable this is your classic Guarnier style it's not too high it's just perfect the tailpiece this is a good tailpiece for those who are learning the violin at first because you have four tuners which are built in I have to admit it's a little hard to turn them they're a little bit uh, stubborn so what I think you could do just remove them put a little bit um, you know oil on them and probably would work a little bit better so um, it's really important that you have the tuner special when you start playing the violin because it's it's almost impossible to tune the violins with just the packs if you are, you know, the beginner. And what else was surprising to me, you guys, that the bridge is actually cut very nicely and there are grooves, you know, on the top of the bridge. Sometimes with those fairly inexpensive instruments, you get the bridge which is have a very rough cut and it's not really fit into the instrument and the, the grooves are missing, you know, basically from, you know, from the bridge. So it's kind of sometimes just ridiculous because it's impossible, impossible to use. If you have a teacher and if you decide to get this violin, your teacher will probably help you with setting up, uh, you know, the bridge and tuning your violin at first because you notice that the bridge came, uh, you know, separately tucked under the uh, tailpiece. So you need someone who can help you do it. You can go to your local, you know, music store. Um, violin store violin shop hopefully someone knows what to do and or you can just simply ask your teacher this is not a big deal I put it myself in here and just works just fine um, also wanted to notice on this violin you guys the packs are also very nice as you're gonna tune you just want to kind of push them in to the pack box and what's also super important is the pack box is all nicely finished so just the fact that this violin is just made so nicely and I feel the price is you cannot beat the price you guys you you're getting beautiful all solid wood violins you know good packs nice finishings uh, well you know crafted bridge all tuners beautiful chin rest everything is just in my opinion ready for you to go to start your violin studies it's just perfect so with that all being said i'm gonna now insert a couple of pieces that i recorded on this violin so you can listen to the sound and uh, i try to play on the g string some pieces on the e string so you can hear you know kind of um a, you know like a wide range of the music on this violin so um yeah, let's go and listen. <laughs>
guys, I just want to take a moment and talk quickly about the case because the case is something that comes with the violin as you saw it. This is like, you know, a foam case that would typically you would find you know on the violins the beginner violins like this but i feel like it's a little bit more upgraded you know because you're getting those straps in here you know the handle is right there the you know the side handle is super super durable has like um i don't know this is like a rubber kind of finish in here so it's very you know nice you're obviously getting the packet so you can put some music in here Here's the inside of the case. I wanted to point on those bow hooks. Those are very nice, you guys. So when you lock your bow in here, it stays very secure. Okay, you can hear like I'm turning. So this is really nice. Also, the bottom here of the case has a suspension, all right? Those are little suspensions. So the violin is not really laying completely down flat. You have a little suspensions here on both sides. Obviously the Velcro. This is your compartment for the rosin. So, you know, it's, um, it's a nice neutral, you know, gray case. Okay guys, so overall speaking, I feel that if you are looking for a good violin, go for it. Hundred dollars. It's amazing price for what you're getting and you're gonna be all set You don't have to buy extra shoulder rest extra bows, you know rosin or or any of this you are good to go if you want to be a little bit more fancy uh, if you want to improve, you know, the violin, let's say you play a couple of months and you feel like you're looking for something more, you can change the strings. Upgrading the strings for, because these are steel strings, upgrading them, for example, let's say if you want to spend a little money, get fancy, get dominant, mastic dominant, violin is going to sound even better, okay? So... As simple as that, putting a nicer s a set of strings on the instrument will take your level to, you know, you're playing to the next level. Um, usually for the beginners, we do start with the steel strings. They stay a little bit better in tune and it's just kind of easier in the beginning. But, you know, if you get a little fancy or if you're an intermediate player, you might just want to put the Tomastic, um, you know, or... Adario Asanta strings. Those are very, very good student violin, uh, violin strings and they're not too expensive. So those are, you know, kind of a little improvements that you can do if you want to, you know, take it to the next level. But with all that being said, with what you get in here, you're good to go. You don't really need anything else. And in case something happened, you do have extra set of strings. So you should always keep extra set of strings no matter what. So anyway, this is it for today thank you so much for watching you guys i'm gonna leave uh the link to this exact violin in the description box so you can go ahead and check it for yourself again this is approved by me <laughs> this violin is amazing i will highly recommend they do have it in different sizes by the way this particular one is in a full size but they do sell violins in different sizes so um i would highly recommend so all right guys if you do have any questions please let me know uh let me know what you think did you like the sound samples you know that i provided here please let me know also if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe um give it a thumbs up if you like this video and um yeah let me know what you think i'll talk to you soon bye